You've never seen a ride like this. There's no steering wheel, pedals, driver's seat. There isn't even a driver. This is a robo taxi from a company called Zooks, which is looking to reimagine the way that we get around. Along with developing self-driving tech, they've also designed what it calls purpose-built robo taxis. I'm here in Vegas to get a behind the scenes look at how Zooks took this from concept sketches to reality, and of course to hitch a ride myself. So let's check it out. Self-driving cars have long been a sci-fi staple, but they're also becoming a very real-world transportation option in a growing number of cities. In the San Francisco Bay Area, I can hail a Waymo if I want to get to my destination sans driver. Waymo, which is owned by Google's parent company Alphabet, also operates in places like Phoenix and Los Angeles. But Zeus is taking things one step further with the anticipated public rollout of its robo-taxi. Zooks, which is owned by Amazon, not only wants to get you to your destination without a human driver, but it wants to do it in these futuristic looking vehicles designed for up to four riders. No steering wheel or driver's seat here. Two people can sit on each side. The robo taxi is all electric and has a symmetrical design. It can drive in both directions, so it'll never have to reverse out of a parking spot. You'll call your ride with an app like you would with Uber or Lyft. Zooks plans to open its driverless fleet to the public in the coming months, starting with Las Vegas, which is why I'm here to take a test ride. Use the touch screen okay. to close the doors. Let's close the doors. Starting ride. Three, two, one. Gearing up to go. We got 15 minute arrival time and we're on the move. Okay, now we get to go into the wilds, AKA the streets of Las Vegas. Yes, Zooks does plan to have its robo taxis cruising this trip once they're available to the public. The demo route I took was a short distance from the strip, but I still got to see how the vehicle handles multi-lane roads, construction and traffic signals, and how I felt being in a vehicle with no driver's seat. It feels like there's somebody in the driver's seat who's making sure to look both ways and then push the gas pedal. There's no gas pedal and there's no driver, so it's a little weird. Pretty cool though. Building a reimagined self-driving vehicle also means the folks at Zooks had to ensure riders can easily do everything from adjusting the AC to contacting emergency services. Okay, see so I have this control here where I can play with the temperature or play music or look at the map to see where we're going. Um, I can also push pull over if there's any issues. There's also an emergency button at the top, which I can push and then be in contact with customer service, which will then figure out what emergency I need to be connected with. There's also wireless charging and a USB-C port between the seats in case your phone's running out of juice. The fastest the Zooks Robo Taxi went in Vegas was 45 miles per hour in accordance with the speed limits of the roads we drove on, but it can technically go up to 75 miles per hour, which is helpful for when these vehicles eventually hit the highways. I think the thing about this is how, like, unremarkable it feels, and I'm, I don't mean that as an insult, but it just feels like we're just taking a ride. It's being very cautious of what's happening around it, and I can really just sit back. I haven't gotten car sick, which is really great. It's a big deal for me. Duke says hailing a robo taxi over a standard ride share or public transportation can offer greater privacy and relaxation. When you simply put yourself in a room or a lounge and now is moving down the road like our robo taxi is designed, I think you start to realize very quickly what freedoms you do have. And one of those is, you know, simply to be able to relax, to let go. Uh, again, nothing's demanding your attention by design. If you want to just get in and sleep, we've got you right for your entire ride. If you want to be on a, a very critical call, there's no one that's going to be listening in on that conversation. If you want to play your music as loud as you possibly want to, or listen to whatever you'd like to listen to, absolutely you can do that as well. While riding in a vehicle of the future can be exciting, some communities and drivers are still apprehensive about the rollout of self-driving cars on public roads. One of the biggest concerns, of course, is safety. Can a machine really be as cognizant as a human driver? General Motors-owned Cruise, for instance, was suspended indefinitely in California last year after one of its driverless cars hit a jaywalking pedestrian. Waymo's vehicles have also been involved in a handful of high-profile collisions, including one with a biker in San Francisco and another with a towed pickup truck in Phoenix. The company recalled and updated its software to address the issue. And in May, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration launched investigations into both Waymo and Zooks for incidents in which company vehicles behaved erratically. That includes Waymo colliding with parked vehicles and sudden braking on Zooks' test fleet, according to the NHTSA. Cruise, Waymo, and Zooks have all published reports touting the safety of their respective vehicles and technologies. They've also all pointed to data on the dangers of human driver error. Elon Musk, who unveiled a pro prototype of Tesla's long-awaited robo-taxi in October has also said, quote, I think we'll see autonomous cars become 10 times safer than a human. 
These companies all appear to be firm in their belief that driverless tech and AI could actually curb deaths and injuries on the road by ensuring vehicles are doing exactly what they need to do without distraction. But it may take some time and writer experience to get the wider public to share in those beliefs. I actually witnessed how Zooks responds to obstacles on the road. At one point, we suddenly came to a full stop and I soon realized why. Oh, this is what's happening. There's a car way ahead that just like did a U-turn in the middle of the, the road. And I think it freaked the car out. Thanks for waiting, we're resolving an issue. Oh, okay. We were moving again within a few seconds, but that moment demonstrates the cautionary approach Zooks wants its robo taxis to always take when there are any incidents or issues on the road. Getting to this level of autonomous driving has been a decade in the making for Zooks. It all started in 2014 with the company's founding. Across many iterations and sketches, the company landed on what it calls a carriage-style vehicle, with the seats all facing each other in a symmetrical design. In 2020, Amazon acquired Zooks, and the company introduced its robo-taxi to the public. Zooks has self-certified its robo-taxi to federal motor vehicle safety standards, which is required to operate on public roads. In 2023, the California DMV granted Zooks a driverless testing permit to operate its robo-taxis autonomously on open public roads. Zooks is currently testing its self-driving fleet around its headquarters in Foster City, California, but only with employees, at least for now. The Nevada DMV also authorized Zooks to operate its robo-taxis on public roads there, hence its presence in Vegas. While speaking at a TechCrunch Disrupt panel in late October, Zooks co-founder and CTO Jesse Levinson announced the company would be deploying its robo-taxis in San Francisco's Soma neighborhood, as well as the Las Vegas Strip in the coming weeks, but Vegas will still be the first to launch commercially. Zooks relies on its test fleet of retrofitted Toyota Highlanders to map areas for its self-driving vehicles and ensure software is ready for autonomous riders. We needed a bit of space and, and enough power to put all of the advanced hardware in there. Um, and we also were looking for a vehicle where we could get the sensor positions as close as possible um, to where they are um, on, on the ground up vehicle. Zooks currently operates its test fleet of Highlanders in Foster City, San Francisco, Las Vegas, Seattle, Miami, and Austin. These test vehicles aren't for public riders, just the human operators making sure everything's running smoothly. The retrofitted Highlanders feature the same sensor hardware as the Robo Taxis, so that all the data they collect can be directly transferred to that final rider-only iteration. That hardware includes LiDAR, radar, and cameras to allow the vehicles to navigate roads without a driver. Zooks builds its Robo Taxis and retrofits its test fleet at a 150,000 square foot manufacturing facility in Fremont, California. It plans to expand the factory and add additional manufacturing facilities in the near future. Robo Taxi assembly all starts with a carbon fiber body that's produced in Europe and shipped to Zooks' manufacturing facility. From there, workers install wire harnesses, electronic control units, batteries, and the suspension system, and then add the sensors and cameras to the outside. The finishing touches are then made to the vehicle's interior. Testing takes place throughout the manufacturing manufacturing process to ensure everything's working as needed. Controlling everything from design to manufacturing to operations makes it easier to quickly adjust vehicles based on rider feedback or technological developments. This new technology with AI and robotaxis as an on-demand service, it's going to be uh, moving very quickly. We're getting a lot of feedback that's new for people. We're going to get new riders and new expectations. And so I think being able to provide continual improvement is going to be really key to staying on top of those expectations. Back in Vegas, I also hailed a ride with Justin Windus, Zooks' director of fleet operations, to learn more about the company's biggest considerations for ensuring rider safety and comfort. During our ride, the robo taxi seamlessly handled taking a right turn at a red light once the coast was clear, and perhaps most impressively, knew what to do in a construction zone. If you look here, you'll see we're, we're coming up to a really, really tight construction zone right here where one lane is completely blocked and we're, we just merged right over, navigated right around it without any issues. That was very smooth. That's a real test right there yeah, because right. it had the arrow where you had to kind of know that you needed to go to the left and, yeah. and it did it. And then we just merged we're right back. back over <laughs> and then we're merging into another right-hand turn lane. So just pretty pretty smooth. Very cool. Yeah. It's of course critical for a robo taxi to know what to do when it encounters any roadblocks or unexpected situations, especially in a big city like Las Vegas. Even if this is still the outskirts, for now at least, it's still a lot of lanes you need to navigate, a lot of stoplights, a lot of traffic coming from different directions. There's just different things that happen that the vehicle needs to be ready to deal with, and, yeah. and, and it handles it splendidly, which is fantastic. You talk about airbags because I look around here and there's a lot of glass, obviously. So 
what do those airbags look like to make sure that, you know, somebody feels safe because, yeah, like you, there could be, you know, hopefully not, but if there was any side impact from other vehicles, how do you kind of keep everyone safe inside? Safety is foundational at Zooks, and we have a really robust airbag system. It's called a horseshoe airbag. It comes down and inflates from the, from the top and it completely encapsulates you. But to make sure that you're safe, the seatbelt will pre-tension and put you in an upright position to make sure that you're in an optimal spot to make sure that that airbag deploys in a way that's going to put you in a safe spot. Thankfully, despite all the glass surrounding me in the robo taxi, there wasn't cause to worry about safety. I felt pretty secure and we didn't encounter any major issues on our drive. I think I'm just like taking in how ordinary this feels. I wish I was screaming instead. I think that would make a better video, but I'm not. <laughs> So what's next for Zooks? First, they'll launch commercially in the coming months here in Vegas, and then eventually in San Francisco. In the meantime, they'll continue to do testing in Austin, Miami, and Seattle, and then we'll see what the road ahead looks like. So what do you think? Would you be willing to ride in one of these robo-taxis yourself? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and thank you so much for watching.